Just follow right over here. Come on, thank God tonight. We're going to pray for you. I have a gift for you. Just follow right over here. Hundreds receiving Jesus Christ tonight. How many thousands out there prayed that prayer for the first time? You can send me a testimony. You can, you can send me a testimony here in Florida. Florida testimony. Florida testimonies with an S. Florida testimonies at freshfire.ca. People are getting saved. Hundreds. If God saved you tonight watching, you have a healing testimony. Send me a testimony. Florida testimonies at freshfire.ca. You can reach us live at God.tv. We want to hear from you. Come on, what a mighty harvest of souls. 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 Hundreds got saved last night in North Carolina. Hundreds getting saved here tonight in Lakeland. Thousands all over the world. Thank God for a mighty harvest of souls. Wow. You know, and in a few minutes, I'm going to begin to anoint people tonight and pray for every person here tonight, Friday night. Something's going to happen this weekend on Sunday. I know it. Special meeting on Monday. You're not going to want to miss it. You're going to want to watch. And if you can't be here to witness, there's no telling what's going to happen in the spirit when so many different ministry gifts show up but I want to pray tonight over these 8,000 prayer requests and I, I want you to take one moment in fact I want you to take two minutes those of you that need to be touched and healed tonight watching in your homes I want you to pray with me for these requests can we do that tonight that out from this place many people are going to get saved and healed and delivered and financial breakthrough and blessing and marriage restored and we're going to open this oil here tonight we're going to anoint all these requests with oil can you open that for me we're going to pray you can send us an email prayer request live at god.tv or right here florida prayer at freshfire.ca we're going to take this anointing oil I want everybody to stand up and I want you to pray right now I want you to begin to pray in the spirit I want you to lift up your voice those of you in your living rooms these are your prayer requests and God I am praying right now for every miracle every salvation resurrection financial blessing financial breakthrough marriage is restored God I am asking you to answer every prayer that we have received all over the world only you can do it tonight God and we want to release the power the anointing the presence of the Holy Ghost tonight and we want to come into agreement thousands tonight millions watching tonight and we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the anointing of the Holy Ghost <laughs> The anointing oil reach every household reach every prayer request right now saturated dripping in oil thousands all over the world tonight God we release the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost right now in the mighty name of Jesus saving healing delivering we pray for every miracle we pray for every healing we pray for every salvation come on saints lift up your voice right now and say my God we agree with every request we agree with every supplication tonight and we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that every prayer request that we have received from all over the world in so many nations would be answered tonight by the anointing, double portion anointing, 
of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus, everybody say it. Hallelujah. God bless you, God TV. We'll be here tomorrow. Keep believing God for fresh fire. Everybody turn around and say good night to our television audience all over the world. Fire, 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 fire. We bless you. We love you in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's sing. So they may live, oh Lord, we 
speak life to the desert land. Yes, we do, Lord. Oh, taking up my weapon. So we stand. Lord, awaken our hearts. Jesus, Lord, awaken our hearts. Oh, because we declare that this is the Lord's generation. The Lord's generation, the Lord's generation, we prophesy. This is the Lord's generation, the Lord's generation, the Lord's generation. We declare, this is the Lord's generation, the Lord's generation, the Lord's generation. This is the Lord's generation, the Lord's generation, the Lord's generation. This is the Lord's generation. This is the Lord's generation. We worship you, Jesus. This generation rises up. We worship you, Lord. Name of God, we praise you. We worship you. We sing that you see troubles. We see an army. You see troubles. We see an army. We see now, you see trouble, we see, we see, you see trouble, we see now, you see trouble, we see now, you see trouble, we see now, 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 we see now.
Awaken our hearts tonight, oh God. Oh Lord, awaken this nation. Awaken the nations of the earth tonight, oh God. Let a sound be released. Let your glory cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Oh, awaken our hearts. Awaken our hearts. Lord, awaken our hearts. 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 Awaken our hearts.
He's openly triumphing over them in it. He is a mighty warrior. Stacy, come here. I want you to read. I, I want you to be able to see this one that you're worshiping. Whether you're in this room or at home. Watching on God TV right now. I want you to be able to see that He is alive. And that He's real. That He has eyes that can see and ears that can hear. He can really hear you right now. We're going to just, just describe the reality. This is not a fairy tale, but the reality of this one we worship. It says in Revelation, When I turned to see who was speaking to me, I saw seven gold lampstands. And standing in the middle of the lampstands was the Son of Man, Jesus Christ. He was wearing a long robe with a gold sash across his chest. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like flames of fire. His feet were polished bronze, refined in a furnace, and his voice thundered like mighty ocean waves. He held seven stars in his right hand, and a sharp two-edged sword came from his mouth, and his face, his face was like the sun in all of its brilliance. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as if I were dead, but he laid his right hand on me and said, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. Look, I died, but I am alive. I am alive forever and ever. He is alive forever and ever. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. was standing there its rider was named faithful and true for he judges fairly and wages a righteous war his eyes were like flames of fire and on his head were many crowns a name was written on him that no one understood except himself he wore a robe dipped in blood and his title was the word of God. The armies of heaven, dressed in finest of pure white linen, followed him on white horses. From his mouth came a sharp sword to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron rod. He will release the fierce wrath of God Almighty. On his robe at his side was written this title, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. King of Kings and Lord of Lords.
perfect yet blameless life given as sacrifice see him there all in the name of love broken yet glorious all for the sake of us this is jesus
what he's brought you from. That God would so love the world that he would give his only begotten son that whoever would just believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. What love is this? And that love is for you right now if you'll receive it freely, freely given to just receive by faith. Come on, receive it in Jesus' name. kids you can never forget what he's done for you you know why this guy jumps up and down all the time have y'all noticed him this weekend the guy that can't stop jumping well there's a reason that Willie Joe praises like that it's not just because he has excessive energy Willie Joe come here and tell them why you do what you do and tell them what this song really means such love and you know why I look at you know why I look at Willie Joe what I think when I see this young man I think this is Jesus. This is the work of Jesus. Nobody else but Jesus could do this. What's happened to him? Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. He was such an awesome Savior, Lord. He was such an awesome Savior, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I was just in the back with some of the people of the team before service started just telling them how every day I wake up and I remember what God has done for me and I remember how he set me free it's almost more than four years ago and I remember it like every 20 minutes how God has set me free and it's not something I'll ever forget and I grew up in a wicked home and I was on drugs from the age of 12 and when I was 18 years old, I ran away from my home and I became heavily addicted to drugs and I eventually became a crack addict and I slept in ditches and I slept in abandoned houses and uh, I was so heavily addicted to this drug that I committed 13 class A felonies to satisfy my need and to satisfy my addiction for this thing. And after I committed that many crimes, of course the law was after me and when they caught me they said Willie Joe Mathis you're gonna spend 256 years in the penitentiary and my response at that time was good take me there so I can get some crack and you see I didn't believe in God and I thought everybody that did believe in God was a fool I was 20 years old and I was gonna be locked up for the rest of my life without a family without a home or anyone that cared for me or loved me and when I got locked up, there was a bunch of people that were reading the Bible. And they would meet together about this man named Jesus Christ. And I decided what I'd do is start reading this Bible so that way I could disprove each and every one of them that believed in him. So I began to memorize scripture and I began to study the word and I began to seek it out that I might find anything that contradicted itself. But little did I know that the written word of God is the living and breathing I didn't, I didn't realize that it was sharper than any double-edged sword. I didn't realize that it was more powerful than my crack addiction. Ah! Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for your word, Lord. I didn't realize that words can be written on a page and come to life. And after months of studying scripture and memorizing it, I found myself laying on the bunk of my cell and the weight of my sin hit me. The weight of every wicked thing I'd ever done in my life fell upon my heart in one moment. 
and I was crying so hard I could hardly breathe and I didn't know what to do but I knew that I'd been reading about a man named Jesus Christ the son of the living God I knew that I had read a scripture that said if I would confess my sin to him that he was faithful and that he was just to forgive me of my sin and cleanse me of all unrighteousness I read about this God who said he would forgive me for, for robbing people and for breaking into their homes and for lying and for stealing. Then I got down on my knees. <laughs> I got down on my knees and I looked out a six inch plate window at an orange street light glow and I lifted my hands to heaven and I said, Lord Jesus, come into my heart change me and mold me forgive me of my sin and use me for your work and for your will yeah. hallelujah lord hallelujah lord how simple you have made it god how simple you have made it lord for me to be saved hallelujah 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 save from death if that wasn't enough there's a whole lot more to the story it's a whole lot more to my story and that is that I woke up the next morning the night after praying that prayer higher than I'd ever been in my entire life from any drug and I ran around prison and I hugged a bunch of people a bunch of men and told them how good God was which is not always the best thing to do when you're incarcerated. And shortly thereafter, my immediate feelings of salvation left me. And I regressed to the things that I had done before. Gambling and cussing and lusting over women on TV. and Fighting and being wicked in my heart and my mind and my soul. But one thing I continued to do was read the Bible. And I continued to pray. And one day I got in a fight and I nearly got killed over a bottle of shampoo. I got kicked in the head and my eyes swelled up to the size of a coconut. My orbital was cracked. And I went to my cell that night and I asked the Lord to forgive me of my pride and to forgive me of my arrogance and to heal my eye. And I woke up the next morning and I felt different, guys. I felt like I had just been born again. <laughs> ah, and, I, and I went into the mirror to wash my face off. And I looked into that mirror. And I saw a man whose eye had been completely healed. <laughs> but, but so more so much more than that I saw a man whose scales had fallen off of his eyes and I saw a man who had been completely and totally delivered from the addiction to crack cocaine or any drug that this world could ever offer me I had been completely and totally set free from that which I would willingly give my life for ah! I don't know a love that is able to do that. I have yet to see one, nor shall I. The love of Christ, 
the blood of the Son of the Living God is able to deliver. It's able to break every single chain. It's able to set every captive free. Hallelujah. And I continued to seek the Lord. And I began to lead Bible studies and lead people to salvation. I didn't even know what getting saved was. And in prayer, the first time the Lord ever spoke to me, he said, My son, you're going to be set free. And I said, Get behind me, Satan. You have no power. Well, it was the Lord talking to me. And he continued to speak this to me for months and months. And I began to believe this voice that I had begun to hear. And the time came time for my court date. And I went before the judge after 30 and 40 and 50 people that were getting 30 and 40 and 50 year sentences for way less crimes than that which I had done. And I went before the judge with a, a verse bound up in my heart. And that verse was, when Jesus is speaking to his disciples, he said, Worry not about what you'll say when you stand before men in high places and rulers. For it will not be you that speaks, but the Holy Spirit that speaks through you. And I went before that judge, and I confessed my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And my remorse for all that I had done, and how all the days of my life, I would strive to serve him with the fullness of myself. And that judge looked at me, guys, and he said, Willie Joe Mathis, you're free. Five years probation, man. Ha, ha, ha. on this platform a man delivered from addiction not a recovering addict but a delivered man I stand on this platform today with a phenomenal wife who loves the Lord with the fullness of her heart whom is carrying my arrow in her quiver Hallelujah. There is no one like our God. No eye has seen and no ear has heard. And no mind can conceive what God has prepared for those who love Him. And so God, we just make the declaration that we have yet to see the fullness of Your glory, God. We have yet to hear all that You will do, Lord. God, we cannot even imagine that which You want to release, God. Oh, come, Lord. Thank You for being here, Lord. Thank You for coming, and thank You for being here. Thank You for coming, and thank You for being here, Lord.
is Jesus. It is glory. Just forget anybody's in the room but you and Jesus. Come on, get lost in his gaze. Straight up to who he, who saved you. He, only Jesus. Only Jesus. No other one to be praised. No other one to be worshipped. You are living and awesome. We glorify your holy name. We give you all the honor and glory. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for your love and your mercy. Poured out poured over every single one of us we thank you father we thank you we can call you father what a miracle is that god how amazing is that that we can call you father and you call us sons and daughters we are amazed and we thank you jesus and we worship you sing this domaina Jesus. And we set our eyes upon you, Lord. You are the only one who could pay the debt that we owed. I hear the Savior say, thy strength Indeed is small, child of weakness, watch and pray, find in me thine all in all, for Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe, sin hath left a crimson stain, he washed it wide as Give him worship tonight. Yes, you are the only one, Lord, who is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Lord, now indeed I find thy power and thine alone can change the leper spots and melt this heart of stone Jesus paid it all all to him I know sin had left a crimson stain he washed it white as snow you have made me pure Yeah. 
the throne I stand in Him complete Jesus died my soul to save My lips shall still repeat Jesus paid it all All to Him I owe Sin had left a crimson stain he washed it white as snow. Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. He washed it white as snow.
ashes white as snow. Oh, the love of Jesus. Oh, the love of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Power in the blood of Jesus. Power in the blood of Jesus. It washes white. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. It washes white. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Wash is white as snow. Oh, the of Jesus. Oh, the of Jesus. Oh, Right now, wherever you're watching this from, the same blood that cleansed and freed Willie Joe Mathis is the same power and blood that can free you. So wherever you're watching this from, you can accept him. It's like Willie Joe said a few minutes ago, oh Lord, how simple, how simple can this be? The Father in his great love for all of us made it just as simple as he possibly could, so simple that a child, a small child, can receive Him and receive eternal life. It doesn't matter what religion you've been raised. You may have been raised Muslim. You may have been raised Hindu. You may have not been raised in any religion. Religion is not what saves you. It's only Jesus. There's only one way to God. Only one way to the Father. And that's through His Son. And if you will believe that, and ask Him to come into your heart and to forgive you of your sins and to be the Lord of your life. You know what? Just be real with God and say, God, reveal yourself to me. Show me who you really are. He wants you to know Him. And believe me, He will show Himself to you as He's doing right now. And you can get a Bible. If you find that difficult that you don't know where you'd get one, pray and say, God, help me get a Bible. Contact God TV. They can help you get a Bible. Or just pray, Lord, send me to somebody. He wants to get his word to you. He wants to direct your life. Chosen right now is about to come and share with you one more time about this Jesus that has so set them free. So all over this auditorium, if you will, if you'll just be seated and stay in this attitude of worship. This is live tonight, so you just stay with us through all the adjustments. This song that they're about to do for you is uh, a song that's the testimony of every one of these kids standing on this platform and every one of these kids sitting on this floor. It's the testimony of who he is and it's the message that John the Baptist preached to the world whenever he said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world.
redeemed kids, we've come to worship him tonight, haven't we? How many of you sitting on this floor have been totally redeemed and set free by the power of Jesus and your witnesses of who he is? Right now with a hand clap of praise. There's nobody like him. He is our Savior. And we're going to tell him right now how worthy he is. So Chosen, get back out here right now. And we believe at the ramp, we praise him, and you already know this, according to how worthy he is, how good he has been to you. And so that's, that's we don't, we, around here, we're not really up on, on just praising him according to how, what, what people like or what makes people comfortable, but only according to how good he is and how God he is. So I, with all of your heart right now, come on guys, let's tell him.
Come on, stand up on your feet. Just lift your hands to the Lord right now. We thank you, Father. <laughs> you are excellent, awesome, omnipotent, righteous, and worthy. We give you glory for what you're doing in a generation, God. We give you glory for all that you've accomplished and for all that you've done and for all we know that you're getting ready to do in the earth. We set ourselves to be in the middle of what you're doing. Whatever adjustments we need to make, we make those adjustments. But we declare that we will not miss what is here and we will not miss what is coming. In the name of the living God, Yahweh, we give you glory. We give you glory. Come on, lift your voice and tell him he is absolutely the most incredible thing you've ever encountered in your life. Come on, take about 30 seconds and tell him he's awesome. Tell him he's wonderful. Come on, how good has he been to you? How faithful has he been to you? Yes, Lord! 